It has begun! What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here from Bacon Ice Cream Productions and Team RTFC, welcoming you to yet another episode of the Good Times Newsline Flashcast. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It has indeed begun. Um, what has begun? Well, we have some breaking news. As you've probably already seen in various forms, such as Twitter, uh, the Evercade blog, and all sorts of other fun stuff. Um, what we've got right now for you is a look at the roadmap. That's right, the roadmap for 2023 for Evercade, and a whole lot more in an epic post from Sean Cleaver, the head of marketing over at Blaze. Let's take a look at what that is. Here it is, the article from evercade.co.uk links below in the description as always on these news articles a look ahead at 2023 and right off the bat let's take a look at this sweet sweet roadmap what do we got well we've got things that we did know about and things that we did not know about now it appears that <clears throat> blaze has set their beginning of year at april um and has extended it through the february march time frame of each year now they don't they didn't officially say that um, in any year past, but I think this is like somehow biz sometimes businesses kind of like uh, draw up their their own fiscal year a little differently, you know, like shift things a little bit. So, you know, April is like their January, right? So, um, so it kind of makes sense to like how they're organizing things. And maybe this is the rollout that kind of like, you know, like the first year they were just kind of putting things out second year in the VS, they were trying to get it. And, but they also had to launch the EXP. And now that they're, they're, they're in full bore, it looks like it full bore uh, cart mode. This is kind of like the thing that they want to do. Right. And I'll explain why I think that's the way uh, in just a second. But first we've got April kicking things off. Of course, the C64 collection two and the toilet line collection two. We talked about that yesterday in the videos. Then we go all the way to 2024, February, I think uh, what I would consider the, their closeout um, with Indie Heroes Collection 3 coming in February 2024 with another mysterious cartridges. Um, now, <clears throat> not a lot more when you're looking at this image. Um, this is, okay, it's a whole bunch of question marks, but we at least now have the cadence. Okay, got in April, got some in May, take off June, got some in July. Take off August, got some in September, take off October, got some in November, got some in December, take off January, here's February. Okay. I mean, it's fairly similar to the cadence that has been uh, in place from Blaze. I'm not, you know, I'm not too, uh, you know, mad about it. Um, you know, I, I, it's, you know, um, it is what it is, right? You know, we know about the things, but we didn't know well i mean we could assume right that there was going to be an indie heroes collection 3 but there is an indie heroes collection 3 which actually makes it the first collection 3 announced so it's not atari it's not uh pico it's not um lynx it's indie heroes 3 announced that is the first collection 3 that i've seen I don't know about you guys, but that's the first one I've seen. Now, is there going to be another one that's going to sneak in and just kind of, like, get you in May or July or September or November, whatever? Maybe. But the one we know is Indie Heroes 3. That was the first one that was announced. Now, you know what? Kudos. Kudos to that. Because um, I like it. I like it. Um, so, anyway, let's go and uh, take a little bit more look into this article and dive in a little more. Um, it says... Of course, uh, they're blazing into 2023. Um, all right, you know that's 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 fun. That's fun. Um, <clears throat> um, with the release of Indie Heroes 2, we started uh, 2023 with the culmination of the first game of the month season. Um, in addition to the nine games released every month on the Ever Kid BS, an additional three are included on the cartridge. Of course, I can't wait to get my hands on Indie Heroes 2. We're going to be talking about that soon. But game of the month 2023 is here. Um, <clears throat> So the first thing to talk about is the return of Game of the Month in 2023. We'll start season two in April. So like again, that's like the whole thing. Like everything kind of revolves. Like April is their January, right? Um, but this time it will be available for both every KBS and EXP users. Of course, they were selling that when the EXP launched, but very, very cool. Uh, meaning that you can take your Game of the Month on the go, yes. Um, of course, nine more games will be available over the course of 2023. 
um, with a new game um, replacing it each month's previous game, all will culminate in the release of Indie Heroes Collection 3, which will feature all of the Game of the Month games, plus extra titles not included in the monthly feature. The cartridge was released in February 2024. Okay, cool. So they had to get that announcement out of the way because, of course, Indie Heroes is the is the collection of which they were going to do their Game of the Month. Could have been something different, um, but I kind of liked Indie Heroes being the the uh, the kind of uh, flavor of the month, so, so to speak. That the, the you know the selection of hey, try this game out for a month and see if you want to get the cartridge or the collection later. Um, I think it's awesome. I think it really um, you know puts a spotlight on some of these indie indie developers, and it's it kind of needed in in the uh, in the space because a lot of those indie um, developers sometimes get lost in the sauce, so to speak. You know, like they put out the game in Steam and it's great, and if you know about it you know about it. And if you don't, then it's buried. Right. Um, you know, and there's some other things that, that happen, you know, even on the other platforms on Xbox and, and, and PlayStation, sometimes they get the nod for, you know, the free game of the month for, um, you know, for your PS plus or your Xbox live, uh, subscription, which is kind of cool. Um, but sometimes they get even buried, right? I forget to download my games, right? I, you know, like I forget to get my free games. Um, but it is neat that they're, they're doing this and it just kind of makes the console like its own ecosystem. And it really, I don't know. I think it's cool. I think it's really cool. Anyway, um, they're going to be announcing more about, of course, game of the month in March. And I'm imagining they're announcing the first game that you're going to get. And of course, you know, yes, I don't want to miss it either. They said, you don't want to, you, you do not want to miss it. Okay. Of course I'm excited. Please be excited, right? Um, anyway, now some sad tears. Tears, one single tear. Because I have to tell you, there is an update to the legacy cartridge, and oh no, my favorite cartridge of all is going legacy. Pico one, don't say say it's not so, but it is. Um, so already uh, discontinued, obviously. Is the hand the original handheld? Um, the finer firmware is coming for for that soon. But joining the handheld and the legacy lineup will be cartridge nine. Say say, pour one out for Pico Collection One. They will be no longer produced as of February 2023. So if you don't get your if you have not yet gotten your hands on Pico One and you want to know what the Evercade is about. There's a drum that I'm hitting right over, over and over again. Get your hands on Pico Collection 1, please. Please. It's an awesome cart. I'm sure it's something silly. Um, I, I heard somewhere that that, that uh, I think it was like the some of the two art action RPGs. Um, there was a licensing issue because I think it was Konami or somebody else that bought the licenses from Pico of those two games. So obviously... You know, like the, the new license holder doesn't want those other games on the cart. Maybe it's all pure speculation. I have absolutely no idea whether or not that's true. But like I said, I mean, it's it's sad, sad tears for Pico. Um, of course, we're gonna be talking about that a little more on the on the Evercast too. I'll shed, shed some more tears to the guests tomorrow. But um, oh man, that's that's hard. So then, of course, the a full list of legacy products are um, just in case you need the reminder: Namco One and Two, Pico One. Darn it. Technos 1 is also another one that hurts. Uh, and Oliver Twins Collection, of course. Um, but we kind of knew that one was kind of coming because it was a special cart that was for um, a, you know, a donation to, to the children's hospitals and, and that kind of thing. It was, a, it was a special thing. Um, but you never know. The Oliver Twins may come back in some other form. Um, you never know. You never know. But And, of course, the handhelds because the EXP is there. All right. Awesome. What do we got next? We've got the good news in the roadmap. Right. There is some more things. Obviously, we saw the 14 cartridges in the roadmap picture. There it is again. There is that roadmap picture right there. You got 14 cartridges coming between April and February of 2024. Now, I, th I think I'm gonna just going to call that the year. Right. Because I didn't have April or March again uh, past 2024. So April to February is kind of like their year um, is, is how I'm going to see it, because that's kind of it looks like that's how they're seeing it. Um, so uh, awesome. You know, 14, 14 in, in 12 months sounds good to me. It's not too much. It's not too little. Um, I'm I'm in I'm into it. Um, so, that, of course, they announced C64 and Total Plan 2 uh, yesterday. Um, the uh, first Collection 3, of course, is in the Heroes. Um, and then um, also will be a first collection of Amiga confirmed um, 
at, from a yet to be announced publisher. So awesome, very cool. Um, so we know that Amiga is going to be one of these. Uh, very, very, very awesome. Um, and then of course they they're also going to tease some other things. At least two arcade cartridges. At least two home computer arcade uh, home computer cartridges. Two indie focus cartridges. So think I'm thinking Always Awakening Cathedral or Morph Cat or you know, maybe even Mega Cat or something like that. So in, indie stuff um, and new publishers. So like new publishers. So we're talking, you know, like we already had, you know, we've had Capcom, we've had Namco. We're kind of running out of publishers before we start getting into bigger ones. Are we going to get a big one? I don't know. It's very, very cool. Very cool to speculate and have fun um, with that kind of stuff. So uh, at least... 11 physical card cartridges left to reveal and 14 in total over the next 12 months. It's a lot to get excited about in 2023. I agree. I agree with that sentiment. Um, Toa Plan and C64, uh, you know, confirmed pre-order date is the 17th of February in uh, December, uh, uh, February. Wow. Let's try that again. The, fe the 17th of February in 2023. So make sure you get that uh, in there. Um, and uh, the next announcement is due in mid-March. Um, I'm imagining right to coincide with the release of the limited edition EXPs, which is very cool. So there's not too much uh, to wait for the next bit of Evercade news, as Sean says. Um, this is setting up a perfect kind of cadence, like a month or two, like a month of announcements. You get the month of pre-orders, you get the cartridges. You get the month of announcements, you get the month of pre-orders, you get the month of cartridges. Boom, boom, boom. I like it. It's cool. It's cool. And then sometimes you get the double up, right? The holiday season makes sense. You, you you maybe you do all your announcements in October for the November and December cartridges, and then you get everything ready for the holidays, and you, know, you get a little breather in January, and you announce you know maybe the last cartridge for February um, in January. Get that pre-order out, and and you're good to go, and you're right back into the next year where you can announce in March for April. I'm thinking that's a cool thing. I'm I'm liking it. I'm digging it. Um, it's going to be, they say it's going to be a busy year, uh, committed to probably to providing you more classics, hidden gems and modern retro greats and welcoming more people to the Evercade family through VS and EXP consoles. Awesome guys. Good times. Good times all around. Um, <clears throat> I think that is exciting. I'm excited about Indie Heroes 3. I hope to see all sorts of really awesome games. Um, I'm excited for 14 cartridges. Um, I'm excited about all sorts of fun stuff. So, but what about you? Are you guys excited? Let me know down below in the comments. You know, hit me up. Love, loving the con conversations is happening all over the place. You guys were all over it on the Advocate official group. That was awesome. <clears throat> on Facebook, um, you guys hit me up on Twitter, which is awesome. And here in the comments section, let's go. Let's go and have this conversation and keep it rolling, of course, to tomorrow, 11 a.m. EST, right here on Bacon Ice Cream Productions for a limited time. Yes. Yes, the Evercast is going to be moving to the Evercade Effect in at least two weeks. I believe we had, we had wrapped that up. It is the 18th of February that is going to be officially on the Evercade Effect. So set your set your dials and your notifications and all that kind of stuff. The, all of the Evercade goodness will still be the same Evercade goodness and the Evercast goodness, um, but it will just be in a new home as we pass that torch along to Ed so he can grow his channel and we can all rise together as awesome folk here on YouTube. All right. So we will see you tomorrow for the Evercast. Don't forget, 11 a.m. EST still here on Bacon Ice Cream Productions. And until next time, we will catch you next time for some good times. I'm Rich, and we will see you later. Take it easy, guys. RTSC.bacon ice cream.com